This week on Out of Touch News, we break down the new Ninja Turtles trailer. We're going to tell you the things we liked and the things we did not like. There's a lot of the second one. People want justice restored to this world. People want heroes, Miss O'Neill. That's what your father and I were trying to do. Create heroes. Does anybody have any idea about who or what this is? I don't know. But I'll bet I never asked to look for a can opener. <laughs> So first things first, out of all the things in the trailer, I will say the Ninja Turtles did not look as bad as I thought they would. There are aspects of the designs I like, and Leonardo kind of looked cool in that one scene we got to see him in. But there's a lot in this movie I don't like already. What, the fact that uh, Michelangelo looked like Shrek? That. <laughs> the fact that the turtles seem to be six feet tall. And to be ninjas and landing and breaking bricks, that's a good way to be silent, I guess. They're now the Teenage Mutant Ninja Hulks. Alright. Other things in the trailer, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. First of all, White Shredder. What do you think of not a Rokusaki being Shredder, Bill? His name is Eric Sachs. Just, just hearing that tells you everything that's going to be wrong with this movie. Yes, indeed. Brief look at the Shredder armor that kind of looked sort of like Lord Zed from Power Rangers. Maybe it's just me. Well, you're obsessed with Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But, but that voiceover at the beginning, is it just me or was that just bad? Uh, just, just bad. Turtles, heroes are created. Uh, it, it just just bad. Like, it didn't even, the, the, even the delivery didn't even sound cool. I think the whole trailer reminded me of a Transformers trailer. Especially since the first thing you see in the trailer is just like, buildings going down, and then it's like, Michael Bay presents. It's like, as much as like, everybody was saying, oh, he's not directing it. If his name is first on the fucking movie, he's responsible for it. Oh, yeah. Other thing I hated... The foot soldiers. Oh my fucking god, what was with that? They're... Okay, I understand you want to modernize things, and you, you're not going to have them look like the flannel pajamas ninjas, but you could make them look good. They don't have to look stupid. I think they kind of look like Chinese terracotta soldiers, which yeah. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? They hit the wrong part of Asia. Indeed. Like... You could make them look like black ops guys without making them look stupid. They're wearing faces over their faces. I, I, I guess what is the idea? It's like, oh, it's like samurai. They wore weird face masks. Yeah, but that only worked in the freaking feudal Japan. This is modern day New York. Now it's just like, look at that asshole. They just look kind of weird. I mean, I don't know. I don't get why they changed Shredder to not be a ninja, it seems like. I think someone just really wanted to cast that guy. They're, 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 they're like shooting guns and stuff too, right? Well, okay, they shot guns in the old cartoon, so I can't be too critical at that. Plus, if you want to take somebody out, you're going to use a gun. Sure. That doesn't bother me. Plus, you can kind of see them using some ninja weapons briefly in the trailer. They just look just really stupid. Yeah. Just dumb. I think um, Megan Fox is April O'Neil. I can't even see past, hey, it's Megan Fox for some reason. You know, it's kind of glaringly obvious that they just don't want to show you any of her performance in that trailer. Because her entire role in the trailer is to go, <gasps> she, doesn't <gasps> even, she doesn't even look different. Like, and her, it's the same blank reaction every time. No, but like not only that, but like her hair is exactly the same as in Transformers. Well, they it's her hair. They sort of dyed it a little red, but come on. Yeah, a little, little red highlight and a yellow jacket. If they gave her red hair and maybe a different haircut, I would have been like, okay. cut it a little shorter. Yeah, like, I would have been like, all right, that's not Megan Fox. She's maybe, maybe cast an actual somebody. redhead. Yeah, she, she's playing somebody, but, uh... They could have cast an actual redhead. Ooh, better yet, they could have cast an actual actress. Oh, dude, that would have been amazing. Yeah, imagine an actual actress to play April O'Neil instead of whatever the hell Megan Fox is. What is she at this point? Is she an actress still? I, I don't know. I mean, she's never been in a good movie. She was in Jonah Hex, for God's sake. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> like, 
this movie, it feels like it wants to be so many things except a Ninja Turtles movie. It's trying to be, oh, it's like Transformers. Oh, but it's also like Spider-Man and the Avengers. I was just going to say that. It, it reminds me a lot of The Amazing Spider-Man when, like, Eric Sachs says, me and your father created something. I, I don't know what he said. He implies that he created the Turtles. Well, Shredder has many times been directly or indirectly responsible for the Turtles. He never set out to create them. He never said, I'm going to make me some mutant turtles. He's like, in the old cartoon, he dumped mutagens like, I'm going to kill Hamada Yoshi with this. But it didn't work that way. I'm really scared to see what Splinter's going to be like in this movie. Because Splinter... He's played by Mickey from Seinfeld. So I'm just picturing a, a short guy yelling at Kramer. Yeah. Splinter is my favorite character in the new Ninja Turtles cartoon. Oh, they made him amazing in that. And they really did. I think this movie is going to just not... Not even come close to having Splinter be cool at well, all. Look at the past Splinters. TMNT, this is the last feature they had film. Mako. Mako was awesome. Yes, yeah. and before that, in the first two movies, he was voiced by Kevin Clash. Elmo. <laughs> and he also the the guy also voiced Shredder in that movie. That's weird. Man, Elmo's badass. Yeah. <laughs> and she got Elmo to play Shredder again then. Just, or just dub, him o dub over this guy, like yeah. the last guy. I mean, Shredder was played by an Asian, but he was dubbed over by a black guy. I mean, the best Shredder voices almost all seem to come from black guys anyway. It's true. You know, if they cast a black guy as Shredder, it would have been much better than a, than a scrawny white guy with a receding hairline. I could have been like, I could have got behind that. I and mean, yourself. hell, if they cast a better white guy, I might have been that, behind that. it too. I would just have been someone like... that looks like they could fight. I mean, they're basically showing us, oh, Shredder's basically going to be Iron Man. He's, that's, cause that's how he's gonna have to be to fight those giant eight foot turtles. Yeah. With super strength and can smash through trucks, apparently. They, they, yeah. They Raphael seem... smashes a truck with his back. That's his back. He should be like, ah, God, my back. I broke my back. I think the only thing in this movie that, like, I can, like, sort of see, like, kind of, like, good is, like, you know, the guys playing the turtles... So far, what I've seen, I'm like, all right, they'll probably do a good job, but everything else in the movie is just like, wh why did they decide to do this like this? Why, why, why are the foot not the foot? Why, uh, why is Shredder not Shredder? I'm a little more apprehensive about the turtles, mostly Raphael, both from a visual and a performance standpoint. Like one, he's he's got a do rag bandana, and I hate that. That just yeah. that's my inner child saying. Fuck you. Next mutation -y. Oh, God. <laughs> and then the other reason is, he's played by the guy that played Aquaman in Smallville. That guy had such a small part, though. Yeah, but he guest starred in several episodes, and he was bland as shit. So I'm just like, Ugh. Yeah. Well, like, why is Aquaman Raphael? Aquaman is Raphael! It's, it's kind of weird. We only got to see one turtle talk in the whole trailer. Yeah. Then, get, then again, this was a tease. Maybe the next trailer won't be as bad, but... Also... Did you notice that Donatello seemed to have a proton pack? I think he's a Ghostbuster. Oh man, Ghostbusters 3, Donatello joins the Ghostbusters. Get out of Dan Aykroyd. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, enough about the Ninja Turtles movie, I guess. Skeptical, not really liking it. There's only one thing left we brought, to say. We brought weapons with us today. Alright, what, what do you have left to say? <sighs> to quote... Raphael. Damn! Um, ogres are like onions. Oh, idiots.